Hi guys, we're here. The finale. The end to Kung and Michael's story. Sorry it took so long. We've got Michael sat in a lawyer's office in Trang, T-R-A-N-G. With his lawyer sat next to him from Phuket. The lawyer has started to read the will. Kung's gone, she's passed. The hereditary illness, the same as the brother. And Michael's got mixed emotions. He's read the note and it's, it's saddened him, but he's got to go through this. He's expecting maybe a few trinkets, you know, nothing really. Um, anyway, the lawyer's methodically going through the will. And it's just quite short. He says, firstly, you have been left a house in Trang. Michael and the other lawyer, and Michael looks at the Phuket lawyer and then looks at what sort of house. And the other man, the lawyer, says, it's quite a large house. We've uh, had it valued. We estimate 10 to 12 million baht. Okay. Wow. Michael's shocked. He's already got all his money back and a profit from the hotel that Kung put in his bank. He's getting on a bit. He doesn't need money. He's got no family. You know, it's... Um... Wow. Kung had money. The lawyer then says, there's some money in an account which will be transferred to you and it's over a hundred million baht over 100 million baht money Michael's just, what can you say where's that come from what gobsmacked he's just like oh hang on there's more and then the lawyer says and the last thing is a condominium condo in Patea, which uh, Kung has left you, and that concludes it. Wow, Michael's got so many questions here about at this point where it's all come from, the family, and he tries to ask the lawyer. The, this lawyer in Trang was the family lawyer for the whole family, Kung's family, the parents, the brother, kids, everyone. He knows the full story. Anyway, he tries to ask this story and he's like, I'm sorry, I can't tell you anything. It's, uh, it's all private and confidential. Michael knows from that time he was in the police station, that policeman like, we're not helping you, go away. He turns to his Phuket lawyer, leans over, quietly says to him, I need all this information, I need to know. Um, and he puts his hand in his pocket, out of, just under the table, he's got about 20,000 baht in cash. Gives it to the Phuket lawyer, he said, look, I'll go back to the hotel. You s s wrap this up, but get all the information you can out of this guy. I need to know answers, I need answers. Phuket lawyer, I'll see what I can do. So Michael says goodbye to the lawyer and said, my lawyer will sort everything out now with you, thank you. And walks out, heads back to the hotel. It's not far, just around the corner. <laughs> Hour later, the Phuket lawyer comes back to the hotel. Michael sat having a coffee out in a seated area in the gardens. Comes out, sits down next to Michael. And Michael said, did you manage to get stuff? And I said, yep, yeah, I just gave him the cash. And he opened up to me a bit. Okay.
what story have you got? What's happened? How she got this house? How she got all this money? How she got the condo? I need to know all the answers. The lawyer says, it seems as if the parents had a big business selling kitchens and household stuff and left it all to the Kung's brother. Um, but the parents left the house to Kung and the money, 100 plus million baht, um, and that's where she got the big house and the money from. It seems that this lawyer in Trang has known the family for years. It seems that Kung, at the age of about 22, had had five children, all boys, from different fathers, a mix of guys. She was rebellious, quite naughty, the black sheep of the family. The brother was perfect for the mum and dad. He ran the business with them. So when they died, they gave the business to him. 22, Kim Kung ran away from the brother. The brother had taunted her and teased her her whole life that she was no good as a mum, she was no good as a person. She could never make money at the business. And something snapped in Kung's head and she ran away, left the kids for the brother to bring up and went off to Patea. It also seems that she didn't take the money the parents gave her. She went and started her on her own in Patea. Um, this lawyer doesn't know much about Patea, what happened, um, and doesn't know where the condo come from. So we'll assume that she did quite well in the massage businesses and had a few maybe. Um, made her money and bought a condo. Kung had money. She did succeed. She made money. She never touched the parents' house or the money. She spent the last two years at her house, the parents' house, trying to get to know the kids and build bridges and fix the problems with them that she'd caused, but to no avail by all accounts. And she passed peacefully um, and gone. That's the house, came from the parents, down to Michael, the money, down to Michael, the condos from Kung. Michael's so much to take in, but it, things are starting to come together. Michael can't talk to this lawyer about the guy he found Kung in bed with, and the guy that supposedly with Kung had topped the brother and Kung had given him one million baht to disappear. That just didn't make sense. He'd heard stories of Thai girls having boyfriends. Was this just a boy boyfriend and that he'd caught them and she paid him off to get rid of him and came up with a story about the brother because she hated the brother? It's gotta be, it's the only explanation. That must have been Thai, uh, Kung's boyfriend that he caught her with, had to be. No other explanation. Five kids. The other thing is from the ID card and the lawyer's information, Kung was 10 years older than she told Michael. That age difference and the kids would explain the wrinkly body. to explain it. So at this point Michael is sad, happy in a way because he's got closure. There's a grave he visits the next day, says his goodbyes. He instructs the Phuket lawyer, instructs the Phuket lawyer to get this big house, sell it, keep him informed and then he'd pay the lawyer and he'd everything he owes and put that money in the bank. Um, he's going to have no contact with the five kids. There's no point. 
they haven't asked for contact with him. And he heads back to Patea. He gets the keys for the condo off the lawyer, all the paperwork, finds the condo, goes there, beautiful condo, um, and decides that's where he's going to live. It's there, it's free, it's paid for, it's his name now. There's still some of her stuff around, but not much at all. It's quite sparse. Um, there's no mention of any businesses in Patea, any massage parlours or anything. So the lawyer wouldn't really know about that. He would have to make inquiries. And in fact, he carries on and does make inquiries, but doesn't find anything. So maybe someone's just got a free business, a massage business in Patea. And. That brings us up to date. He's um, had to come to the terms with all this. Nothing he can do. Had to, accept, had to accept that she's gone. She was special. She was different. She had money. There's a few little twists and turns there. Bit strange, that Thai boyfriend thing. The story, you know, how she made that story up just to keep Michael. Didn't want to lose him. Very quick off the mark to make a story up like that but you can't think of any the brother wasn't was there you know the brother was alive she only had the one brother there was no other brothers hmm very strange but Michael had to come to terms with it all and has since moved on he hasn't tied up with anyone else he's just going one day at a time. He's got his box redirected from America. He's got it to the new condo. He's still got his friends. He's still got his health. And it shows that there is people out there with a good heart. And you can never judge that book by its cover. The day he'll always remember the day she stood by the tree, got on the phone, turned around and smiled at him and hooked him. He'll always remember that. That's the end. Michael came out on top financially, but a broken heart. And quite sad that it's come to the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. If I've missed anything, left any loopholes, I'm sure you'll tell me. This last couple of episodes has been a little rushed, but it was to get it through before <laughs> anyone changed their minds. Um, yeah, there it is, Kunga Michael. Resolved, ended, finished. On and up, I will see you all on a next video, whatever that might be. Bye for now.